This is America Weekend. I'm Mike Bennett. Naturalist and farmer Greg Quinn is responsible for bringing the black currants back to the U.S. market and, in fact, grows black currants on his farm in the Hudson Valley, New York. And it's time now for his notes from the current farm. I'm Greg Quinn with this week's Notes from the Current Farm. July and much of August have been dry here on the farm, but with a couple of one-inch-plus rainfalls in the past week, the woods have exploded with the magical world of wild mushrooms. One of my favorite things to do is to forage for wild edibles, and mushrooms always top that list. I've identified 17 species of edible mushrooms here on the farm, but actually only a number of these are really delicious, so I concentrate on those. Throughout much of Europe, wild mushrooms are a common delicacy, and foraging for them is a regular pastime for the whole family. The knowledge of which mushrooms are good and which are not seems to be more prevalent in other countries than here in the U.S. Many Americans just leave them alone for fear of consuming a poisonous one. There are over 3,000 species of mushrooms in North America, but one only needs to learn a few of the edible ones in their area to safely enjoy them and they are enjoyable. There are many great field guides and books on edible mushrooms with wonderful photos, illustrations, and detailed descriptions of the many ways to distinguish one from the other. One of the fun methods is to make spore prints. If you cut the cap off a gilled mushroom and place it gill side down on white paper for about 24 hours, most of the time, hundreds of thousands of the microscopic spores will fall from the gills, creating a beautiful pattern on the paper. The color of these spores will range from white to many shades of yellow, pink, salmon, brown, and more. These prints can help determine the type of mushroom they came from. Also, the prints are so beautiful, you can preserve them with artist spray or hairspray and frame them. It's a great project to do with the kids. Now, of course, as we all know, many mushrooms are poisonous. Some can cause mild to severe gastric problems, and others can lead to much more serious afflictions. So do your homework. There are mushroom clubs and experts in most areas, and they'll take you out and show you how safe and easy it is to find the delicious ones. Take advantage of these experts in the beginning. The simple rule of thumb is, when in doubt, leave it out. Tens of thousands of people safely collect and enjoy mushrooms every year around the world. You can, too. Perhaps the most important thing to know after you've learned what are the edible mushrooms in your area is to learn if there are any inedible lookalikes. After a good rain, you may find dozens and sometimes hundreds of different beautiful mushrooms in the woods and fields. But again, there's only a handful that are wonderful eating. So study those first and get comfortable learning to ID and noticing where they're growing in relationship to different species of trees. Then learn how best to use them in your cooking. Do this and you will have gained knowledge that will enrich your time in the woods and fields, elevate your cuisine to new levels, and can be passed on to your family and friends. Next week, we'll talk about some of my favorite delicious and even healthy edible mushrooms. For a free podcast of this and previous notes from the Current Farm, and to see this week's Current Specials, go to Currents.com. That's Currents with an A. With naturalist and farmer Greg Quinn, I'm Mike Bennett. And you are listening to America Weekend.